High School Media Day. We're here with the team, one of my favorite teams in Duval County, the lead generals. Coach Smalls, thank you so much. No problem. For coming out, Coach, you got your team here. Let's introduce some of your players that you got. Got Jarrell Caldwell right here, plays receiver. Got Logan Davis, O-line, the 77 block right there. Yes, got Cam Sapp. <laughs> got Tavion Nicholson and Jacob Pose right there. Coach, let's get right into it. So let's talk to your right, Caldwell, your uh, wide receiver. What do you like about him? Oh, man, he just has, a, you know, the ability to go get the ball, um, great athleticism, uh, you know, just his ball skills. His hands are definitely a strong point, but he's been in the system for so long now, and he's been developing, and it's been a pleasure just to, you know, see him develop over the last four years. So it's, that's what I get out of it. I enjoy that. Talk about uh, your quarterback, Sap, and the chemistry that he has with Caldwell and some of your other receivers. Um, this this year, our, our strong suit is going to be our, our, our skilled players, for sure. Uh, I would say that um, Sapp has been working with Jarrell. You know, uh, you got Taz over there. You got uh, Kivate Doz, Terry McKinney. We, we have quite a few skilled players that's, you know, and they, they've been working hard. You know, it's going to come with the overtime as a process, but make sure everybody's on the same page. Um, but they've been putting in the work, and that's what it's going to take to get better and get to the point that we want to be at. Um, today was the first day of practice this morning. We actually had a good showing, I would say. Uh, I like what I saw, and we've been going at it real hard all summer. So I'm excited to see what the season brings as we get the same rolling every day, you know. Defense has always been uh, one of the staples at Lee. Talk about your defense and uh, what you're looking forward to. Oh, man, just being aggressive, you know, just ready to run through a brick wall, you know, not not afraid to make any tackles, not afraid to mess up, just playing full speed. You know, I like to play with passion, I like to play with energy, and I like to see it from both sides, but you truly get a chance to see it from the defensive side. So, you know, just having my guys, and we got a, a good young group that's going to be playing on, the, on on that side of the ball, um, but I, I think we're going to be a force to be reckoned with, you know, as long as they play full speed and, and with the energy just to hit anything, don't worry about the size, we're going to be fine. Last question, of course, uh, district winners. Um, the past couple of years, you got Lake Cities looking for you. you. You know, you got the other teams looking for you. Uh, what's your outlook on the season this year, knowing that you got that target on your back? It's one thing to get to the top. It's another thing to stay on top. You know, I always tell the kids, you know, um, we got to outwork, just outwork it each day, put in that work every day, um, try to get better, come consistently. Uh, like I say, just iron sharpens iron. There's nothing new to it. There's no, no secret remedy or nothing like that. There's no secret formula. It's very simple. So as long as we're doing what we, we're supposed to do, like giving the effort we're supposed to give, we're going to be fine. You know, we know that teams want to beat Lee High School at this point, um, but we got to make sure we, we're doing the things that we can control to make sure we stay on top. One of the toughest districts in the state, uh, definitely the toughest team in the state, the Lee Generals. Check them out. Coach, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Good luck this season. Yes, sir.